Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's kind of a chilly November day here in Minnesota. Had to get out the snowsuit today to try to keep nice and warm. It's just getting up above freezing as I pulled up. It's only supposed to get up to about 35 degrees today. But our kayak fishing days are limited. I thought the season might be done for. The past week, it's been below freezing pretty much nonstop. So a lot of the smaller lakes and ponds I drove by on the way out here were iced over already. The river is still open though. We're going to try to find some smallies out here today. I'm not going to fish around much right up above the dam here. I wandered around from shore up there and didn't see any fish swimming around. So we'll paddle upstream and see if we can find them. I think I'm going to go with a mimic minnow out here today. I've got the Wonder Bread color. I've actually got one tied on already. Going with the quarter ounce size of that. These mimic minnows are a popular choice for a variety of species up here though. A lot of people really like those mimic minnows. A good lure for beginner fishermen too because they come pre-rigged and ready to go. All you have to do is tie it on and they're ready to catch some fish. About this time of year, any kind of jig and plastic combo like that is usually a pretty good bet. I'm just gonna set my other rod down so I don't smash it under the bridge here. But we'll start out right here at the bridge with the water temp dropping. Sometimes the concrete and the rocks hold a little bit of heat. It'll keep some fish around the bridge here. We'll give it a try. surprised if there weren't some fish hanging out here at the bridge today. It's a little bit of a deeper spot here. Found something. Not quite what I'm looking for, but it'll get us on the board at least. You do nothing too crazy. I've got them hooked in a good spot where I shouldn't have to retie. Well, I might have to now. I just had my line in his mouth. And get my net under him just to be safe. Okay, where are you? I'm just need them to open up so I can get my plastic back in one piece. There we go. Well, not the target species for the day, but we're on the board. Found something here at the bridge. There he goes. All I found at the bridge over there was a pike. I'll probably have to paddle upstream to where I found those fish a couple of weeks ago, the last time I was out here. I was just paddling through here though and I saw something kind of interesting. Let's see if I can find him again. There he is, right there. You guys see that? Right down next to me here, there's a big old sturgeon sitting on the bottom. I'm going to drop my other GoPro underwater here.
That is pretty cool to see. An old prehistoric fish like that. I'd like to target them sometime. I've seen a few of them on this river, but I don't know if there's really enough to make it worth targeting them, but maybe I'll have to give it a try sometime. I'm gonna keep paddling my way upstream a little ways though. We'll go try a couple of spots where I know those smallies kind of make their wintering holes out of. Stump. Oh, yeah, this is a solid fish. Oh, yeah, that's a big smolly. Where are you going? Where's my net? Beast of a small, you guys. Well, first smallie of the day. That is exactly the kind of fish I was hoping to find out here today. Pretty much the exact same spot. I found a couple out here last time I was on this stretch. When the water was about 10 degrees colder. He's got his mouth open, but about 19 and 5 eighths. Just a chunk of a smallie. Yeah, he gave that mimic minnow a nice thump. That's always a satisfying feeling. Tire. Nice big boulder down there. Some bassy looking stuff. I think there's one that usually makes a bed right in the middle of that tire there. In the springtime at least. Here we got something. We got here is bass. Sure is. Just a little guy, looks like I got him right in the chin. Hey, I'll take that little fella though. It's only the second fish of the day, second bass I should say, so any action is good action. I'm getting up here right into that deep hole that's right up ahead of me here. I'm right on the edge of it. So we'll see if this is where the big smallies are hanging out today. There we go. There's a nice thump. Right up to the surface. <laughs> oh, look at that. He shook my jig. Well, I was just working that mimic minnow through the deep hole here. It probably gets to about 10, 12 feet deep in this corner. I think it's one of the deepest spots on the stretch of river. Pretty sure. It's a wintering hole where a lot of these smallies will hang out through the winter. Found that guy in here. Huh? Let go my thumb. <laughs> you guys see anything swimming around down there? 
getting into some nice deep water here. I know I found a bunch of fish over here in this area the last time I was out here. It seemed like they were a little bit closer to the edge though. Maybe not quite so deep. Looks like it'd be a good spot to hold some smallies though once they decide to get into their winter spots for good. There's one. Nice one. You come back up here. There's a big old smolly hanging out in the deep water over here. Oh, he just shook my jig. Thank you. Wow, look at that chunky smallmouth. Yeah, we'll toss him on the measuring stick. It's about. 19 and just shy of a quarter. Nice. Yeah, I'm having to work for them a little bit today, but we are getting some big thumps with that mimic minnow. It's a fish. I don't think I'd find anything over here. Of course, it's a pike. If I was going to find something, I figured it would probably be a pike up here in these weeds. That's actually a nice pike, though. I'll take a decent bonus pike. Looks like I've got him hooked in a good spot, too. At least I did. I don't know if I'd do any more. Oh, yep. Yeah. Come here, you. I just want to get him in my net before he takes my jig and says, see you later. Well, that's not a bad pike at all. Just gotta get him to stop rolling around. There we go. Let me grab you real quick. Get my mimic minnow back from that guy. Heck yeah, that's a nice pike. Yeah, that's one thing I like about that mimic minnow pike, bass, walleye, pretty much anything will eat that mimic minnow. Well, I figured I'd paddle up just a little bit farther onto the river here. We've got some deeper water toward this corner with this downed tree sitting out into it. Here's one. <laughs> Found one up here. I guess there are still some smallies a little bit farther upstream. I don't know, maybe I'll keep fishing my way up a bit. Try a couple different spots than last time. Nice one, probably good 18 inch fish, kind of a skinnier one compared to the rest I've been catching today.
there's one. Oh yeah, that's a big smallie. Well, maybe not quite as big as I thought. Oh, he shook it. I guess we'll never know. He's probably about an 18 incher. There's another one. Well, we are finding some fish up here. Oh, this isn't even a smallie though. This is another pike. I would have much rather have that smallie I just had. But I'll take a bike. Okay, we're finding some stuff up here on the river. Both bass and pike. Little pike. Yeah, seeing the smallie, the cast right before that, though, that gives me motivation to keep working my way upstream a bit farther. There are a couple more deep holes right up here where I've found fish in the past. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be up there today. I mean, if we're finding a couple of bass up here this far, they should be a few hundred yards up farther too, I'd imagine. Well, there is a nice deep hole up here. This is the other spot I wanted to paddle up to and give it a quick try, but I haven't found anything in this one. I don't know, that sun's been shining for about a half hour now. Maybe I just need to work the sunny side over there. I'm about to turn around and start fishing that side. Work my way back toward where I started from. Yeah, I'm down to about an hour until sunset, but maybe 20 minutes worth of paddling to get back to where I started from, so we'll give it a quick try through a couple of those spots where I caught smallies earlier, and we'll see if we can find at least one more willing to go thump on that mimic minnow. I'm going to give it a few more casts up this way. I want to get one right up at this downed tree up here, I think. This is usually a bass holding area up here. It is a fish. Hey, we found one up here. Kind of a weird bite. I thought I was just snagged up there at first. Dang it. You stay pinned. The last one shook my jig. <laughs> this one I got in the net though. Here. Yeah, we're finding a few a little bit farther upstream here. They're a little bit more scattered up here. I'm having to work for them a little bit, but yeah, that's a nice fish right there. This is it's probably gonna be the last fish of the day I'm pretty sure it's a bass those look like bass head shakes 
Oh yeah. Nice. Well, it's been about 45 minutes since the last molly I caught. I was starting to wonder if we'd find another one, but right as that sun is setting, as I was about to call it quits for the day, this guy dumped that mimic minnow. Yeah, that's a beauty of a smallie. Last one of the day right there. Beautiful sunset smallie. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit chilly out here. My stomach is starting to rumble. I think it's time to paddle back to my vehicle. Yeah, it's been an awesome day out here on the river though. Might be one of the last kayak fishing trips of the season. So I'm really glad I got out, caught a handful of really nice smallies and a couple of bonus pike with that mimic minnow. So that was a great way to spend a fall day, catching some big old smallies. I had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed the afternoon out here in the kayak with me. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.